We, the Providence Indigenous Unit, is celebrating our 74th Independence Day. Let us pay a tribute to the heroic freedom fighters of Kerala. K. Kelapan, popularly known as the Kerala Gandhi. K. Kelapan was a founding member and president of the Nayar Service Society. He is popularly remembered as a social reformer, freedom fighter, journalist and educationalist. He and K. Kumar were one of the first people in Kerala to remove the suffix in their names that implied their caste status. Akamacharian, she was known as the Jansi Rani of Travancore. Akama left her teaching career to coordinate the struggle for independence. She led a mass rally from Tampanur to the palace of the Maharaja Chittira Tirunal to get the ban on the state congress lifted. Her courage was hailed by Mahatma Gandhi and she came to be known as the Jansi Rani of Travancore. Captain Lakshmi Sahagal, a lady who inspired million, born as Lakshmi Swaminathan on 24th October 1914. She broke social convention and dogmas from a very early age, speaking out against the caste practice in Kerala. Sahagal was witness to the freedom struggle with her mother. Muhammad Abdurrahman was an Indian freedom fighter, Muslim leader, scholar and great politician from Kerala. Following the Mapla riots of 1921, Sahib worked towards establishing peace in riot-affected areas but was arrested and sentenced to two years' imprisonment in October 1921 by the British authorities. For his participation in the Salt Satyagraha of 1930, where he participated in the breaking of the Salt Law on the Calicut Beach, he was lati charged and sentenced to nine months' rigorous imprisonment and lodged at the Kanu Central Jail. Ave Kutumalu Amma Ave Kutumalu Amma was a companion of Swadeshi movement, a social worker and an active Khadi promoter. She was also an active member of Indian National Congress. She led groups of women in picketing of foreign clothes shops in Korikot in the year of 1931. Kutumalu Amma was a woman of a rare courage. She joined the civil disobedience movement with a two-year-old child in her hands. She was an actively associated with Indian freedom struggle and was arrested twice in 1940 and 1942. She was selected as the president of Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee in 1944 after a release from the jail. K. Ramakrishna Pillai was a nationalist writer, journalist, editor and political activist. He edited Swadeshabhimani newspaper which became a potent weapon against the role of British and a tool of social transformation. His pen moved against corruption in the state and injustice in society it was his criticisms that led to the newspaper getting confiscated by the state he was arrested and exiled from travancore in 1910 wakkam mohammad abdul qadir maulavi popularly known as wakkam maulavi was a social reformer teacher prolific writer muslim scholar journalist freedom fighter and newspaper proprietor in travancore He was the founder and publisher of the newspaper Swadesha Abhimani which was banned and confiscated by the government of Travancore in 1910 due to its criticism against the government. He also campaigned for the need of modern education and education of women. K Kumar was an orator reformer and writer of the Indian pre-independence era he was one of the earliest socio political leader to have brought gandhi ji's message and the spirit of national movement to the erstwhile travancore state he was an advisor to the nehru government and a gifted translator to gandhi ji kumar was against caste discrimination and one of the first to remove the suffix of his name that suggested caste Kumar was the president of the Travancore Congress Committee and was also in charge of Gandhi ji's Travancore tour. With grateful thoughts, 
we remember and acknowledge the great leaders and patriots who have laid down their lives in the service of our motherland their selfless sacrifice must inspire us to work for the progress and prosperity of our nation this is the best way to prove our national integrity loyalty and patriotism